What's going on everybody? I'm Brad Hicks with the Paddle and Fin Podcast Network. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my rod setup and what rod and reel I paired together and what I throw in each one. So let's go check it out. So I'm gonna start with my lowest and then we're gonna work my way up to the highest. So I'm gonna start with my medium light rod. It is my shortest rod I own. Got the TRC cover here, Paddle and Fin. If you want some of those go to the website uh, TRC or you can go and uh, message our Facebook page but here is my first rod and reel setup this is my finesse setup uh, this is an Abu Garcia villain rod 2.0 6 foot 10 medium light and I paired it with a uh, Abu Garcia Pro Max uh, reel uh, 5.2 to 1 I believe uh, 5.1 to 1 actually but this is my finesse setup. I will throw uh, really tiny swim baits or grubs or uh, mostly uh, uh, the TRD, Ned Rig, anything like that I will throw on this. I also do have an eighth ounce spinner bait that I do throw on this, or not spinner bait, buzz bait, my bad, that I throw on this. It makes catching smallmouth super fun. So. Anytime you can catch a smallmouth on medium light gear, that is the way I'm going to go. Um, but yeah, medium light finesse combo. Great rod and reel. I love this rod. I've had it for like four years now. Uh, super sensitive. It's ridiculous. I actually got a real good deal on it. This, this thing's like 200 bucks brand new and I got it for like 90 bucks. So can't beat it. I love this rod. Love this reel. Oh, now the reel's okay, but... I love the rod, so I live with the reel. But yeah, finesse combo. If uh, you guys uh, need any ideas on what to throw on your finesse combo, just uh, comment below and we will uh, help you out. My next combo that I'm gonna be talking about here is my uh, uh, Abu Garcia Revo X reel. I believe it is 5.2 to 1, and I paired that with an American Tackle Bushido Warrior Rod Blank uh, with the uh, microwave guide, guide system that they created. This is a 7 foot 2 uh, crankbait rod. So I'll throw my square bills on it, my deep divers on it. I'll even throw some bigger swim baits on it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice rod. I, I love the reel. The rod's okay, but I'll show you this right here. That wrap right there, freaking beautiful. The rod seat right there is super comfortable. That hump in the back makes it nice. So, uh, decent crankbait rod. Uh, this thing bombs baits. I mean, you can cast forever, with, especially with braid. And then that uh, microwave uh, guide line system right there, uh, it's won like six major awards. So, good rod and reel. Crankbait rod, swim bait rod, uh, yeah, good stuff. So my third rod here, uh, rod and reel here, is a loose bait caster, 6.8 to 1, and I paired that with a Fenwick HMG rod. This is a 7 foot medium, fast action. This is my top water rod, I'll throw the plopper on this, I'll throw a bigger buzz baits on it i have been known to throw some spinner baits on it and uh some chatter baits on it but i, I don't really like this rod for that I, I like it more for my top water this rod uh it, it, it says medium on it but it feels more like a medium heavy if that makes any sense so i think that's why i like using this rod as my top water rod um i spool it with braid no leader um, yeah, love this rod. I've been a Fenwick uh, fan for a while. Uh, of course, I've been a Lewis fan for a while. So these two put together have been like one of my favorite combos for years. So, uh, yeah, check that out. Uh, if you're in the market for something like that, check it out. If you want to know more, comment below. So my fourth combo here. 
Uh, it's kind of a newer combo that I bought last year, started messing with after I won a tournament. That's why I used the tournament winnings to buy this combo. That is the 13 Fishing Fate Black Rod. Uh, it's a medium heavy, seven foot three action, and I paired it with a loose uh, speed spool, 6.8 to one. Uh, I spool fluorocarbon on this. This is more of my finesse rod, or I, I throw chatter baits on this rod, uh, spinner baits, I got a spinner bait on there. I have been known to throw uh, the shaky head on it, um, also like a pegged uh, Texas rigged worm. Uh, I love fishing this rod in the grass. I I can feel like every every little uh, hit of grass. I can I can just feel it. Or if I'm bumping a rock or anything, I think that's what what makes this such a good finesse uh, style rod for me. Uh, like deeper, trying to pull some some fish out of cover, anything like that. You, you could probably uh, pitch and flip with this and stuff as well as uh, throwing. Uh, football jigs on it and stuff like that. I haven't done, used that for it yet, but good good rod here. I mean, the the, the rod's okay. Uh, I'm not super impressed with it. It's it's okay, but the reel, of course, Lou's guy myself. I will be using Lou's for a while. It's a good reel for the budget. Uh, combo number four. And my final. Combo I'm going to be talking about here is my most recent purchase that I purchased on Black Friday. And I haven't even gotten to use this combo yet because it's been cold. I don't have any cold water gear to get out on the water yet. But I'm super pumped about this combo because it is super light and extremely balanced. So that is the Shimano SLX uh, Baycaster Reel. I believe it's... 7.2 to 2 to 1 ratio and I paired that with a Daiwa uh, Tatula rod 7 foot 1 inch medium heavy and I can throw a quarter ounce to one ounce lures on this and this is going to be my dedicated football jig rod. I'm going to be throwing three quarter ounce uh, football jigs on this deep uh, structure. I have spooled this with uh, fluorocarbon, no leader, um, yeah, I, I just, I can't, there's not much more I can say about it. It looks nice. It feels nice. That right there, this rod seat, oh, it, it just feels amazing. And just the, such lightweight. So I'm super pumped to be uh, throwing this next year. I bought this rod um, dedicated specifically for the jig so I could get better at jig fishing next year. So I'm excited to uh, put some time on the water with it and... Uh, learn more techniques so uh, thanks for watching the video guys if you guys like this video hit the like button if you're not subscribed already uh, subscribe to the channel we got more content coming Monday through Friday we got the podcast so don't miss that and uh, yeah we'll see you guys next time